Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you a new series that I'll be having on my channel, and it's going to be called Cricket DIY Wednesdays. Yeah, so what I plan to do is every Wednesday, I'm going to share with you some DIYs that I come up with using my Cricut machine. Now, I have two Cricut machines. I have the, um, the Explorer Air 2 and I also have the Explorer 3. So I'll be using, and I also have an easy press. Sorry, you guys. I also have an easy press. So I'll be using these machines to share some DIYs with you every Wednesday. Okay, for our first DIY, I have this teacup holder that I got at a craft store in my area. So I taped off the bottom because I'm just going to be painting the bottom piece with some white acrylic paint. Okay, so I'm going to set it aside to dry for a few hours and then I will come in and give it a second coat if needed. Okay, here is our cup holder all dry. <laughs> Looks very nice. And I have this knob here that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue it to the top of our cup holder. Now you can use a stronger glue if you'd like. But for this video, I'm just going to use some hot glue. And now I'm going to go in with some of these gems that I got from the dollar store and just go up the three sides of our cup holder. If this is your first time on my channel, I'd like to say welcome and I do hope you will hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another DIY to share. And to my oldies and my goodies, thank you for coming on today. I really appreciate you. And I hope everyone will give me a thumbs up for today's Cricut DIYs. And now for DIY number two, we're going to make some glam teacups. I have this clear cup here and I'll be coming in with some pink glitter. And we'll be using some clear Mod Podge to put on our glitter. So we're just going to apply the Mod Podge going all around the bottom part of our teacup. And now we're going to apply our first layer of glitter. And then I'm going to be setting it aside to dry for a few hours so I can come back in and do a second layer of glitter. Okay, here we go. It's all dry. So we're going to apply some more Mod Podge going right around our cup. And we're going to apply our second layer of glitter going right around and then we'll set it aside again to dry for a few hours. And here's how it looks with our second coat, which I think that looks good. So I'm just going to apply some more Mod Podge going around to help to seal in the glitter. Now, like how this is a teacup that will be washed um, whenever we use it, we have to let the glitter and the Mod Podge seal for about four weeks before you wash it. Um, it has to set for four weeks. So if you're making it for a gift or anything like that, just make it ahead of time and then you can give it to the person already. <laughs> All right, everyone, I went into design space, got the images that I want and send them to my Cricut Explorer Air 2 
and it is cutting the images that I tell it to. Okay, now our teacups are all dry with the glitter and I have three of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe them off with some rubbing alcohol to clean the surface to apply our vinyl. So here is our first vinyl that I have. It's a lady's head and I am using a pink shimmer um, vinyl which is a pink glitter and you have to use a thicker a thicker transfer tape the glitter transfer tape which I have on there so I'm just applying it to our teacup and I am using a permanent vinyl And next I am burnishing the vinyl onto our teacup so I'm just scraping it down with the scraper and now I'm just gonna take my time and remove the transfer tape and there we go and now for our next teacup it says too blessed to be stressed <laughs> so again take my time and applying the transfer tape to our teacup and this time I'm gonna cut into the transfer tape tape sorry to help lay it better onto our teacup and then again we do the scraping scraping it down burnish it <laughs> I'm getting used to the cricket names you guys <laughs> I'm learning as we go along and I'm sharing it with you so you'll get an idea of what to do and what the experience is along with me. And there we go. And now for our next teacup, we have this butterfly um, monogram <laughs> with the letter A in the middle. <laughs> And again, we take our time and apply it down. When you purchase the glitter vinyl, it comes with the, um, the glitter transfer tape with the vinyl, which is very nice. <laughs> I like how the butterfly looks very nice and now for DIY number three a faith drinking glass okay here's our drinking glass and then here is our faith sign the um what do you call it the offset for our faith sign now I already did everything in Cricut printed it got it out and everything and with the faith sign I got this off of um Etsy I bought it from a vendor on I think it's Etsy it's called yeah that site so I just downloaded into my Cricut design space and then sized it to the size I want set it to my Cricut and it cut what I wanted you could buy um there's other images and stuff that if you see that you want you could buy it off Etsy and there's lots of places that you can buy images from and make sure they're compatible with Cricut Design Space before you purchase them. So I'm just burnishing it down, scraping it down. <laughs> and then we just tear it off. Well, peel off the transfer tape, not tear it off. And there we go. And again, this is the gold glitter vinyl, permanent. And I see a lot of um, Cricut DIYers reuse the transfer tape. 
that's a cricket hack i guess so that's what i'm doing i'm reusing the transfer tape on the next part of the faith sign there are a lot of cricket hacks out there i watch videos and i see them and as i learn them and try them i will be sharing them with you <laughs> So I'm just lining it up onto the first part of the faith sign, which is the offsets part. I like how it's looking already. I like it. I only made one, but I think I'm going to go back and make three more. So I have a set. I love how it turned out. I think it looks lovely. And these are the items for our next set of DIYs. And here we go with DIY number four, my T corner sign. So I have this wood plaque here. So I'm gonna go in with some white acrylic paint and I am going to paint it all white. Now I'm gonna set it aside to dry for a few hours and go back over with a second coat of the white paint. Okay, so now our board is all dry. So I taped it off with some painter's tape and I'm gonna come in with some silver glitter and some Mod Podge <laughs> and just apply glitter to the top part and the bottom part of our little sign. Next, when it's all done, I'll set it aside to dry for a few hours. Okay, our glitter is all dry, so I'm gonna go back over with a next coat of Mod Podge to help seal in the glitter. And now I'm just removing the painter's tape. I don't want it to dry with the painter's tape there, so I take it off while it's wet so it doesn't help disturb the glitter. And now I'm just gonna use a dry brush and just dust off any glitter sparks that I see on the white part of the paint because I don't want them there. So just use a dry brush and clean up your decor. Okay, I went back into design space, wrote out the words that I want from my corner sign, and now I'm cutting them on the Cricut. I love watch the Cricut cut, I think it's so nice. And now I am just weeding the words that I cut out. As time goes by, like how it's gonna be every Wednesday, I'm gonna have more detail on how to use design space and stuff like that to share with you. Okay, so now we have our words. We're gonna apply them to our plaque. Now for our T corner, Sometimes when you're transferring the words onto the transfer tape, the letters do not want to come up. One and two of them will give you trouble, but just keep scraping and going. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not. I watch some of these videos and they make it look so easy. And then when I come in and try it, it's like, oh Lord, why? But anyways, like I said, I'm here to show you everything. The ins and outs, the T to the T. I'm not covering up anything. I'm showing you everything because the struggle can be real. <laughs> but at the same time, it's nice and it's fun. <laughs> so here we go. Look at that. No trouble to peel it off. 
just trouble to apply it to the transfer paper. Oh boy. <laughs> so now I'm going to just add some little gems to my sign. <laughs> and I'm just going to be using some hot glue. Now for DIY number 5, I'm making a tea and sugar caddy and I'll be painting it with this white acrylic paint. So I'm just going to continue painting all the way around and I will do a second coat if needed. But I'm not going to be painting the inside of the caddy because that's where I'll be placing the tea and sugar packages. Okay here we go, it's all dry. <laughs> Looks very nice with the white and the inside, as I told you, is not painted. So I'll be using some of these mirrored tiles to help decorate our tea caddy. And also some of these gems. Now I'll be adding some of the gems going along the side of our caddy. Now with the gems, just use some hot glue at the beginning of each strip and also at the end. I forgot, I always do that and I totally forgot <laughs> to add the glue but I had to go back in and add the glue to the ends. <laughs> of each of the gems. Okay, so now it's time to add our little sign. It says rise and shine. So we just take our time, center it, and then we're just gonna scrape it down. And our E is giving us trouble. Our S and our E. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways. There we go, and I'm going to reuse our transfer tape. <laughs> to add our it's tea time. So all together it says rise and shine, it's tea time. <laughs> so here we go, we're going to place it down. And scrape it, adhere it to our surface. And there we go. This one gave me no trouble, which is nice. <laughs> okay, on to DIY number six, kitchen rule sign. I don't know about you, but at my home, I have some unruly young adults. Now, they like to use things in the kitchen and leave them there. Don't put them back. Don't wash them. They just leave them there. So... I'm making some rules to put up in the kitchen. Hopefully they will follow them. <laughs> okay, as always, go into design space, make up what I want, and then set it to my Cricut to be cut. And this time I'm using some um, vinyl, some black vinyl, and it's removable vinyl that I'm using this time, you guys, yes. Removable vinyl. Okay, I have this frame here. It's, I think it says 20 by 20. Sorry, it says 20 by 25. <laughs> I got this from my um, Dollarama 
But you can get nice signs, nice frames from Walmart. The ones at Dollar Tree are not all that strong, but you can get some nice ones from Walmart if you don't have a Dollarama near you. So I just took some silver um, glitter paper, cut it to the size of the opening because I want the background to be with a glitter. So I'm taking out the glass and then I'm just going to clean it down with some rubbing alcohol so the surface is nice and clean to lay down our vinyl. And here is our vinyl with the rules. <laughs> so I just need to take it off. Oh boy, the transfer tape. Hello, so we need to rub it some more, burnish it some more. <laughs> and as you can see, the struggle is real. I take it up, some come up, some don't, so I'm just rubbing it some more. I don't understand these DIYers, they make it look so easy. These cricket DIYers. And it's not, the struggle is real, it's not easy. It's fun though, and I laugh. <laughs> Every time I laugh. I'm like, oh my goodness. But it's okay, you just rub it down some more. And it does come up. But the struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna place it onto the surface. There we go. And then we're gonna burnish it. Scrape it down. <laughs> And here we go, you guys. Moment of truth. Let's peel away the transfer tape and see what happens. Okay, so far so good. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. I think we're good. Yep. Houston, we have landed. Yes, we have. Yay! No trouble. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to place everything back into the frame and seal up everything. <laughs> okay, now we are going to put our kitchen on the top part. So we're just centering it. And then we're placing it down. And then we're gonna burnish it, scrape it in. <laughs> oh, the end is giving trouble. Oh, the K is giving trouble. Oh lord. So we're just gonna scrape it down some more. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> Great. Oh, I just have to press that down. I'm wondering if I had used the permanent vinyl, if it would have been a little better. Hmm. But I wanted to use a remover vinyl just in case I wanted to change it up. Anyways, now I'm going to come in with some of this bling that we have here and I cut it in with strips. <laughs> and I'm going to put one each going down the side of our kitchen rule sign. And this bling has the self adhesive on the back. So we're just gonna lay it going down the side. And here is everything how I placed it in my kitchen. Yes, Petals Tea Corner. I don't drink coffee, so I had to make a tea corner. <laughs> and here is our kitchen rule sign. Tell me where he 
I like how it turned out. <laughs> Kitchen rules. If you empty it, fill it. If you dirty it, clean it. If you spill it, wipe it. If you open it, close it. If you cook it, share it. I do hope they follow the rules. And I placed it right above the sink so everyone will see it as they walk into the kitchen. <laughs> I love how it turned out. I think it looks very nice. Tell me what you think about the kitchen rule sign. And tell me if your household is unruly when it comes to the kitchen just like mine. <laughs> and here is our other glam decor for my tea corner. I like how it looks, a nice little refresh for spring. Okay, there is our tea caddy. Rise and shine, it's tea time. With our tea in there and our little sugar packs by Equal. Our little faith cup. My petals corner. <laughs> petals tea corner. <laughs> and of course, our glam tea stand with our tea cups on it. So we had the butterfly one, the lady head. And also too blessed to be stressed. I like how they look and the glitter on the bottom is absolutely beautiful. Remember, you have to have them set for four weeks before you apply them to be washed. Yeah, but I love how they turned out. I love how the teacup stand turned out too. All glam and nice. I love how it looks. I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> Alright everyone, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of my tea corner. And oh yes, I love the faith sign. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to make three more so I have a set. Or I might four more. Make it a set of, or five more I mean, make it a set of six. I think it looks absolutely lovely. So like I was saying again, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And I hope you do join me again for Cricut Wednesdays. Yeah. I'll have a Cricut DIYs every Wednesday and my regular DIYs on Sundays. Yeah. So thank you for coming on and seeing today's DIY. And remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye, everyone. Need somebody that's gonna be there for you, girl. You need somebody that's gonna be there for you. That's me. You know I'm waiting.